am going to just demonstrate the ways in taking body measurement. So, but first, I am going to introduce first myself. So, I am Miss Anan Gumpay, your tele teacher, together with my model, Jomar Tomanlas. So, class, so, so that I both pass about sa body measurements. So, body measurements, it is referred to measuring the actual person who will wear a garment. So, karon, akong sukban si Jomar. So, si Jomar bali akong client or ang mo suot sa dress. So, ang sagay, ang tunok ka ways sa pag-measure sa body measurement. So, first, vertical measurement. Then, the second one is horizontal measurements. And then, the third one is the circumferential body measurement. Pero, karon, atong unahon first, ang vertical measurement. So, ang sagay, class, ang vertical measurement. Mayroon ganit ang vertical measurement. It is taken from the top of the body. So, you can say sa taas sa body portion, figure to its base. Padulong diri sa baba. So, first is figure back. So, may yung tag-figure back, diri na nato makita class. From here, so, kung sa ganito ang class, class uh, vertical measurement is taken from the top. So, since ang figure back, it is taken from the neck point, diri, kanila part class, mo siya ang neck point. So, it is taken from the neck point down to the waist. Ang sagan na mo yung sabihin sa iyo, class, hawa. So, bika sa neck point, padulong diri sa waist. So, pila man ang kuha ni Jumar. So, na siya 12 inches na measurement sa iyang figure back. Okay? Next one is the figure front. So, figure front class, it is taken from the neck point. So, mga na po ni siya diri ang part ang neck point. So, it is taken from the neck, neck point, passing over the bus. So, move agi siya sa bus, down to the waist, padulong siya sa hawa. So, ang figure front ng measurement ni Jomar is 12 inches. Okay? Next one is the bus height. So, bus height, is, it is taken from the neck point. Gihapon, di ka mo, balin siya ang pinaka- Kuan, starting point pag mag-measure ta of vertical measurement. So, it is taken from the neck point down to the highest point of the bus. So, na siya 7 inches na measurement. Next one is crouch. Crouch is set on a chair. So, it means ang model ato siyang paintoron para makuha na to ang iyang crouch body measurement. Good morning. Yan. Sige, sige. Okay, good. Then, yan. Set our plans yung uh, position. Then, we're going to measure from the waist down to the chair. So, gigan ka sa hawak. Ato siya yung measure. Padulong siya flat corner sa chair. So, na si ay 8 and 1 half nga inches at iyang crouch body measurement. Okay, next one is the length of the sleeve. So, length of the sleeve, it is taken from the shoulder point. So, 3A. Mono 3 ang party class ang shoulder point. So, it is taken from the shoulder point down to the desired length in the arms. So, gikan diri sa shoulder point, padulong kung ang sahil mong gusto. For example, moingan, ang, moingan siya nga, gusto na ako. Taas, la, taas akong kuan, lang sa sleeve. Gusto na ako, short. So, nakadepende na sa desire sa model. For example, kang Jumar, ato siya yung measure na, si ay 7 inches na lang sa sleeve. Okay? Next one is length of the skirt. So, length of the skirt is applicable na siya sa mga babae. So, since si Jumar is lalaki man itong model, so, uh, pick up ang iya is length of the Pants. So, length of the pants, it is taken from the waist, di kan sa hawak, to the desired length of the pants. So, for example, si Jumar, di kan sa hawak at ang image short, padulong sa length sa iyang desired na length sa pants. So, naa siya 40 inches na measurement sa iyang uh, pants length. Okay? class. Humala ta sa pag-measure sa vertical measurement. Now, 
we are going to measure the horizontal measurement. So, what's the horizontal measurement class? So, it is taken from the left of the figure to the right. So, we can the left class of the figure. We can do this without it to the top. So, we can do this without it to the horizontal measurement. So, first, what we measure is the shoulder. Okay. This part class, what is the shoulder? So, saan na ito pag-measure ang shoulder? So, shoulder, it is taken from the shoulder point. Gikan din is the shoulder point. Din mismo, muna siya ang shoulder point. Uh, across to the back of the shoulder point. So, gikan din as a shoulder point. At ang i-measure pa doon ang ragyapon din sa iyang shoulder point. Sa pikas na pod nga side sa shoulder. Okay, next one is bus distance. So, bus distance may tag bus distance plus dili ma part mo ni siya ang bus distance. Pero, careful ta kung mag-measure ta, especially ko, mga babae atong sukdon. Dili ta basta-basta mo, 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 sa pa para, mo hikap sa part dili sa bus na binakong babae. Careful ta. For example, a bus distance, it is taken from nipple to the other nipple. So, dapat distance lang atong pag-measure. Dili i- Attach din ito kung di distance lang. Yun na lang nato pag measure class. So, ang bus distance measurement ni Jomar is na lang siya ay 6 and 1 half inches. Okay, right now you are going to measure the circumferential body measurement. So, circumferential body measurement, it is taken around the body. Yan. I-measure na ito siya. Around the body. Okay, first one is the bus. So, bus, it is taken around the fullest part of the bus. So, mani during a party class ang bus. So, ato siyang initial. And then, we are slightly higher at the back. So, tali ko dyan more. Minani siya. Atong ipahigher, diri ada pizza. Sa back part. So, na siya ay 33 inches. Nga measurement. Okay? Next one is the waistline measurement. So, waistline measurement, it is taken from, or it is taken around the smallest part of the torso. May yung getag torso class mo na siya ang pinaka-curve corner dili as na may hawakan na part. Sige, basta kumish for. So, naan siya ay 31 inches. Okay, the third one is the hips or the first hip. So first hip, it is taken 10 cm or 4 inch from the waist. So atong i-measure dili ah, gitan dili sa waist. Atong i-measure 4 inches. So karon kay na-locate naman ato ang 4 inches gikan sa waist, ato na pong i-measure ang first hip. So dili na ta mag-start of measure. So first hip, it is taken around the hip. So, na, si Jumar na siya 34 inches nga first hip measurement. Then, the second one is the second hip. So, second hip, it is taken around the fullest part of the hip. So, di ka dyan diri ah, sa pinaka fullest part. So, si Jumar na siya 36 inches nga measurement sa iyang second hip. Okay? Then, the, the next one is the arm hold. So, kanya siya diri nga party class mo ni siya ang arm hold. So, armhole, it is taken around the armhole. Okay. So, sa atong pag-measure anong class, dapat dili kayo grabe kahuot. Nga naman, pag magsuot na ang, ang, ang model sa dress, dili kayo siya makamove. Nga naman, goot man atong pag-measure. Pag so, atong pag-measure, atawa na ito siya allowance. Okay, si Jomar na si ay 18 inches ng measurements sa iyahang armhole. Then, the next one is the arm girth. Ang arm girth, it is taken around the arm. So, mga man siya ang arm na part sa body. So, ato rin ang measure taken around the arm. So, si Jumar na si ay 13 inches nga measurement sa iyang arm girth. Okay. Thank you, class, for listening. And then, ang it's for your performance task, you are going to measure The vast measurement, the shoulder measurement, the waistline measurement, the arm hole measurement, and then the hip ride measurement. Thank you so much for listening, class, and God bless everyone.